Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will see different tools used for coding HTML pages. The first one is Notepad. You don't need a fancy code editor for coding HTML pages. You can simply use the Notepad application. So for example, this is where you want your HTML file. Just right click, new and text document. Let's say index, open it, add some HTML code. So once you're done with the coding, just save the file as HTML. So file save as and all files index.html, save it. Go back to your folder. Now, as you can see, we've got an HTML file here. And when you double click, it opens in your browser as an HTML file. Codepen.io. So you can visit this link, HTTPS codepen.io. This is one of my favorite options. I just love it because it makes sharing code super simple with you guys. So first you gotta sign up, it's free. So just click on this button. So you can sign up either using your social accounts or using your email. Well, I already have an account, so I'll just click on this login button. So once you log in, this is how it looks. Now to write some code, just click on this pen and it provides you with this editor by default. So just bring down CSS and JS. So to write some HTML code, you can simply write it here. This is my paragraph. Or if you want to add a heading, so you can simply do it like this. That's it guys. And now if you want to share this pen with someone, just copy this URL and share it. It's as simple as that. All right, so moving on to the next option, which is Visual Studio Code. So you can just click on this button if you want to download it for Windows. And if you want to download it for Mac or Linux, you can select these other options. So I'm gonna just go ahead with this one because I'm running a Windows OS. Okay, so the file is downloaded, let's install it. I'll hit the next button, accept the agreement. Let's hit the next button and just select whatever location you want, wherever you want it to get installed, but I'm just gonna go ahead with this default location. Next, create a desktop icon and next. And click the install button. It's installing, so let's wait. All right, let's click on the finish button and because this checkbox is checked, so it will launch a VS Code. So when you open it, this is how it should look. To open existing files, just click on this file and say open folder. Just select a folder or file, whatever you want to open. And if you see this explorer, you can see your files here. The cool thing about Visual Studio Code is that it provides you with tons of extensions. One super cool extension is Live Server. It's perfect for small HTML CSS projects. What it does is it creates a local server for your project. So every time you save your file, it gets reflected in the browser. It saves lots of time, trust me. You can install the extension here. Just click on this extension widget. Search for the extension over here, Live server just select this option and you should get an install button over here so i've already installed it so it's not showing me that button so once you've installed it just open any html file right click and select open with live server so as you can see it's running a local server here and a file is open so for example let's just bring this up Say you were to add another paragraph, just save it, 
and automatically it gets, it gets reflected in the browser. As simple as that. So guys, that's all for Visual Studio Code. There are many more options available out there. If you don't like these editors that we discussed in the video, then drop a comment below and I will suggest something else for you. Hope you are ready for lots of HTML coding. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.